Today, we are going to level up our Instagram game by designing our own custom templates using Adobe Illustrator. So we are back in Adobe Illustrator and if you're new here, my name is CJam and on this channel we do graphic design tutorials just like this one using Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. So if you're into that kind of graphic designing content, consider subscribing. Just a heads up, this is part two of our Illustrator series. So if you haven't seen part one, I'll put it in the YouTube card and I'll also put it linked in the description. So you can check that out first and then come back and watch this one if you haven't seen it. So what are Instagram templates? These are a particular set of graphics that have the same look across multiple posts. So for example, when you go on Instagram, you'll notice that the posts are in a three column grid and with a custom template, all of those three posts or probably even more than three will have the same look just by looking at it on Instagram. And sometimes with your custom templates, you can let each design flow into one another so it's really something cool and it makes your instagram page stand out from everyone else's we're going to be using some photos today from envato elements and this video is not sponsored but you guys know i have a relationship with envato elements and i'll put a link in the description as to the photos i used where i got them from envato and also i'll put a link in the description to an envato elements monthly subscription where you get 70 percent off if you don't already have a subscription so be sure to check the link in the description and what i will also do is put a download link to this illustrator file that we're going to create today that way you guys can download it and customize it to however you see fit but i'm not going to put the photos you guys can use your own photos so with all that said let's start designing so here we are in adobe illustrator and you guys know the drill we're just going to go ahead and hit create new and then we're going to create a custom document with our size in pixels and then we're going to change all of this to 1920 by 1920 because we want a perfect square and let's just go down here to our advanced options and let's change our color mode to rgb and then we're going to leave our raster effects at 300 ppi that looks good let's go ahead and hit create all right, here we have it. Here is our template. Let me just bring it to the center. Let me just turn on my rulers here by hitting Control and R. And then let's go ahead and zoom out some more. And with the theme, the template pattern, um, as I said before, you know, on Instagram, it's a three by three column, right? So we're going to have one post here and another square right next to it and another square right next to it, right? So let me just go ahead and hit Shift and O on my keyboard for my artboard tool. Zoom in one more time. And then I'm just going to hit Alt on my keyboard and then click on this artboard here. Now, after I click on it, I'm holding Shift so it doesn't move out of place. And then I'm just going to drag it over to the right hand side. And what this is doing is creating a duplicate of my artboard because I'm holding Alt, right? And then if I release it, you'll see I have two artboards. See, it says artboard one and artboard one copy, all right? And I'm going to do that one more time. Same thing, hold Alt on my keyboard, click on the artboard and then hold Shift and just drag out a copy, right? And when you're doing this, you want to make sure that there is no space in between anything you're doing here because if there's a space in between it, when you design your templates, it won't flow seamlessly, all right? because that's the whole point of designing a template and what you can do to test where your artboards are if they are aligned perfectly is you can hit shift and o one more time right and just click on an artboard and you can come over here to your properties tab if you don't have your properties tab open you can just go to window up top and just click on properties tab right i already have mine here as you can see and what you'll notice here is that the width and height of this first one is 1920 by 1920, right? And the X and Y position is 960 by 960, right? And what that means is the center point of this first artboard here is at 960 pixels on my X and Y axis, vertical and horizontal. And if I go ahead and click on this middle one here, it should be 960 plus 1920 because the size of this middle artboard is 
19, 20 pixels wide, right? So it should be 960, which is right here in the center of this first one. And then it should be 19, 20 pixels over here. And if we look on the artboard here, it says 2088 pixels, right? And what is 960 pixels plus 1920 pixels? It is actually 2880 pixels, right? So that is pretty good already. And if we click on this third one, this third one should apply the same formula where it should be 2880 plus 1920. So let's go ahead and click on it. And remember, I am in my artboard option right here. I press Shift and O on my keyboard. So let's go ahead and click on it. And then 2880 plus 1920 is actually 4800 pixels as you're seeing right here, right? All right, so now we can go ahead and press V for our move tool, just so we are out of the artboard tool, because if you click and move something here, you make a mistake. Let me hit V and then let me save this by hitting Control and S. And then let's just name it here, LSPV illustrator um ig template all right let's hit save and then okay all right let's go ahead and drag out some guides i want to drag out a guide from top let's do about 100 pixels and what you can do is you can just highlight or click on your guide and you can adjust the x and y coordinates of my guide right and what I want is I want my X, my Y axis, sorry, to be at 100 pixels for my guide. And then I can just drag out this on this side and I can check it by selecting my guide. See, it's at 120 here. That's not what I want. I want it to be at exactly 100, right? And let's just repeat that process on the bottom and then on the side again just we're just doing this to keep everything uniform right i don't think this one is 100 is it should be 1820 all right let's drag out a couple more we're just going to repeat this for all of our templates right about there about here let's do one on the edge of the template right let's do one on the edge of the top and on the edge of the bottom see what we have we need one more over here all right how does that look i think these should be accurate right and if you notice here in this second artboard i think this is a bit off what you also notice happen up top on your rulers here is as you click on an artboard, you'll notice that the zero point changes, right? So the zero is right here on the first one. If I click on the second one, the zero should come about right here. Let's click on it and check. See that? As I said, one more time, the zero came here for the third one. And with that, if I click on the second one, when I select this guide right here, it will tell me that this guide is at 800 pixels over here in my properties tab, but it should actually be at 1820 because remember, the width of the entire template is 1920 and 1920 minus 100 pixels is 1820. So I want all of my guides to be 100 pixels from either side, right? Either edge. Let's do the same thing for this, this third one, sorry. This should be at 100 pixels and not 120, right? Just so we're making sure that everything we're doing is nice and uniform and symmetric. Let's go ahead and hit Control and S to save. And let's do a check on this guide at the bottom here. It should be at 1820 and not 1840. Let's check the top one. It's actually good, all right? Control and S to save one more time. And now we can go ahead and bring in our photos. And as I mentioned earlier, I got the photos from Envato Elements. And let me just drag in all three of them. All right, let me just move them down here for now. All right, so I have my photos here. I can always come back to them when I need them. The next thing I want to do is I want to have a color template that I'm going to design from. I'm just going to pick my colors from that template. And I already pre-selected my templates. I'm just going to go ahead and paste it here. I'll put a link to the description. I'll put a link in the description, sorry, for the color, cores, color codes that I chose. And what you can do is when you are in Illustrator, you can just come over here to your, to your color picker, your fill. 
just double click on it and just input the hex code right here hex code is a color code meaning six characters so i'm going to put them in the description that way you guys can get these exact colors that i'm using right here all right so don't worry about it so remember double click and input the hex code that you want and then go ahead and hit m on your keyboard and just draw a square just like that that way you will have all of your colors up here to pick from right or if you're using adobe creative cloud you can just pick a color template from your libraries if you're using a library right let me just put one more guide right here between second and third um artboard right no we're looking good all right and what i want to do let me just start writing some text here hitting t on my keyboard for my text tool and then let me write the word instagram oh that's way too small <laughs> Control and A to select everything. Let's make it about 60. Mm, let's do 100. And then let's change it to the font to Matrice. Mm, let's use book. Yeah, let's use book. All right. So I'm writing Instagram grid templates, right? Instagram grid templates. And let me just move this to here. And then let me write something else after that. Let me hit T again. And then let me hit first post. Because what I want is this will be my first post so that when it's posted here, the next one will go here and the next one will go here right next to it and they will all flow into each other, right? And then let me change the style of this font to be bus new, bold. Let's do about 300 on the text. Maybe that's too big, but let's just work with it for now for the purposes of this tutorial and then let's change the colors let's pick from our color um template our color palette but let me just duplicate all of this and um bring them over to each artboard so i'm hitting ctrl and c and then i'm clicking on this artboard and then i'm hitting ctrl shift and v and what that will do is paste the artboard in the exact same coordinates that it was over on this artboard right and let me do the same thing on the first artboard by clicking on it and then hitting ctrl shift and v right so that way when we're working on each artboard we don't have to go back all the way over here for our color palette we have it right here to choose from right so let me click on the text first post and then i'm clicking i on my keyboard for my color dropper tool and then i'm just going to pick the orange here that's the color i want the first post to be in and then for the instagram templates i'm just pressing i again for the color picker or dropper tool and then using this dark blue here right all right and then let me go ahead and make a rectangle by hitting ctrl and m and then not ctrl and m sorry m on my keyboard and then let me just drag a rectangle overlapping the first and second artboard right about there let's move it down but now it's in front of all my text so let me go over to my layers here just like photoshop illustrator has layers and if i turn it off you can see it's right here all right and then let me just drag it down by clicking on this dot over here on the right hand side and drag it down below text right and let me change it the color of the rectangle by hitting i on my keyboard for my color picker one more time and i'm picking this like creamish color right here right and then let me just drag it down a bit to where i think it's centered behind the text right all right let me zoom out and what i want to do next is i want to write that word learn share control and not control and t t on my keyboard sorry for my type tool text tool let me write learn share photo video but that is too big let me change it to 100 or maybe that's 100 maybe 120 and let me change the alignment of the text to align right and then let me change the vertical spacing here let me change this to about um 50 or oh, not so little let's do 100 yeah that should be good let's put it in the very corner right here and what i want to do next is i want to hit t again for my text tool and let me just drag out some forward slashes or type out some forward slashes right let me just space them out a bit 
Hmm, let me hit one, two, three, four, five, and then let me select all of them by Control and A. And let me increase the spacing to about 200. That should be good. Let me decrease the text size to about. Hmm, let's do 100. 100 is good, right? I'm going to change the color later on in the edit. I'm just going to bring in the photo now and then change the color, right? All right, so I'm just using this first photo right here of this lady, and I'm just going to bring her hand in, and then I want her behind everything that we just made. Let me just right click in an empty space and click, right click on one of the guides, sorry, and click lock guides, that way they don't move accidentally from me working. And then I'm just going to size her down. Let's size her down some more. I want her to fit somewhere in the middle of all of this, right? About there. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to draw a rectangle that is the size of my template, which is 1920 pixels by 1920 pixels. And let me go ahead and hit M on my keyboard. And then let me just start here from this point where these two guides meet. And as you can see, the rectangle is snapping to the guys if I see that that pink diagonal line is telling me that it is exactly the size of my template right and then with this black rectangle here I don't want it to be black let me pick a color from my color palette and I want it to be this blue and if I select this um, blue rectangle and select the photo of the lady here by holding shift and clicking on both of them and then I hit Control and 7 on my keyboard, it will clip the image of the lady to the rectangle that I just made, right? Control and S to save. And if I come over here in my layers now, I can see that she is right here, right? This layer here on top. But I don't want her to be on top. I want her to be behind the text. So let me just push her down to behind the text, right? All right, and I want to draw another rectangle above her layer, and I want it to be across all of these, um, all of these posts, these three artboards. Let me hit M on my keyboard because the color template, the template color that I'm making here, I want them all to have the dark blue here, right? So let me click and drag a rectangle that will overlap all of these guides, these um, artboards. And then let me pick a color by hitting I. Right now it has no color. That's why you're not seeing anything. And let me just pick from the blue, right? But it's above everything else. So let me find it in my layers. It's right here. And I'm just going to drag it down all the way to the bottom, right? And as you can see right here, I'm having all these guides in my layers. Let me just go ahead and create a new layer. It's here, layer two. Double click on it, rename it guides. And then let me just drag all of my guides onto that guide layer. So if I turn this guide layer off, all of my guides should be off. But this guy is missing. So let me just drag him onto that layer as well. Now we're looking good. Control and S to save. And then let's go back here. And what I want to do next is I want to just reduce the opacity of this lady right here. I want to make her a bit faded out, right? I believe she is, where is she, right here. You can rename your layers as well if you want, just to make sure that you know where to find it. I just renamed that lady. And let me just click on, on her image here. And when I click on the image here by clicking this circle on the right, you can see I have some different controls here and I was going to drop the opacity about mm, 50 50 looks good what do you guys think and then if I click the word opacity I should be able to change the blending mode overlay no let's do luminosity that is good and now I can drop the opacity some more to about 30 or 40 40 should be fine what do you guys think <laughs> And now let me change the uh, the forward slashes. Let me hit select them and then hit I on my keyboard for my color picker and just pick this cream color from my color palette. Let's go over here to the text. 
let's change all of this to white and then let's change like every other word oops let's change every other word to like some kind of other color right how would i do this i would have to oh no let me do it in the reverse let me select let me change everything to the cream and then let me just pick every other color to white because white is easy to find up here in my swatches right what i could have done was i could have added white and black right here next to my color palette right that would have made it much easier and i think i want to add a little at learn share right here let's just duplicate this instagram grid text change it to white coming up top swatches at oops at learn share photo right let's make it much smaller about 50 that should be fine and then let's make it touch this edge right here let's duplicate it Control and C, then Control and V to copy and paste. How about that should be fine. How about there should be good. What do you guys think? Control and S to save. All right, I think that's the most I will do for this first post. Let me just go ahead and make a rectangle by hitting M on my keyboard and just dragging another rectangle to overlap from the first post to the second one. Are you guys hearing that dog that's barking outside? <laughs> and then let me change the color by hitting I on my keyboard for my color picker and just picking the orange so it matches the word first post. And remember, you can change this text to be whatever you want it to be, whatever message you want to relay across your social media platform. You just obviously put that here in this design, right? This generic text is just for the purposes of this tutorial, but you guys knew that. All right. Let me just fade this um, rectangle here, this one here. Let me just fade that out some more by coming over to my properties tab and just reducing the opacity some. Mm, about 75. That should be cool, right? And then I think I probably want to make this smaller. Let's do 80. And then let's, matter of fact, let's make it as small, as, as wide as the entire width of this right here. I don't want it to overlap this too much. Let's do 75. That looks about good, all right? And now I can just drag over the rectangle to about here, right? That looks more uniform, I believe. What do you guys think? <laughs> Let me just drag this down. That looks cool. I think I can live with that. All right, control and S to save. And remember, you don't have to make your photo as faded as this, right? This is just the look that I'm going for for this particular first post, right? All right, let's go ahead and roll over to our second post, our blank canvas right here. And you can already see that when I post this first one, the second one will also have this rectangle and this one here. And what I could have done is I could have extended these um, forward slashes to make it all the way over to here on the second post. All right, let's just do that for the purposes of this tutorial, right? To about there. All right, cool. Because the point of this tutorial is to show how your designs can flow. And if you're not using this as a, like on Instagram with the this layout grid, you can do it as a carousel. So if you designed this now, we're designing from the right, to left if you wanted to make a carousel you know a post where you swipe on instagram facebook doesn't allow swiping posts only in ads so what you can do for your swiping posts on instagram you will design from the left to the right right so for these posts here where you want your individual single posts to flow into one another when you're looking at an instagram page you start designing from right to left for carousel posts where you want people to swipe left on Instagram, you design from left to right. So that's a key important fact, right? All right, let's continue. Let's zoom in or let's zoom out and see which photo we have next. Which one do I want to use for the middle one? Let's use this lady right here. Let's size her down and 
then bring her in our template to about there. Let's move her over a bit more. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to clip her to a rectangle here. Mm, how do I want it to be? Let's do right there. And then let's go ahead and draw a rectangle by hitting M on our keyboard. But I don't want the rectangle to fill up the entire template or the entire artboard like this last lady over here on the right did. So let me go ahead and just use the inner guides here to about there. And then let's click on that as well as the photo of the lady. And then let's hit Control and 7 or Command and 7 on Mac. To just create a clipping mass and that is what we have there right now let me just go ahead and edit the blending mode on her and then let's do luminosity as well mm. see that effect that this gives me right here that is kind of cool but that's not what i want so let me just go back to normal oh wait let me go back to lum luminosity and i think what's happening is because she is above these layers over here she's right here let's move her down let's move her down to where the other lady is right and let's rename her lady in <laughs> middle all right so we know which one it is in our layers now this looks more like what we want right and then let me try and change the color of this um rectangle that's in front of her or let me, sorry, let me add another rectangle in front of her to change the color. Let me turn my guides on by hitting control and a semicolon. If I didn't mention that, that's how you do that. <laughs> but you guys already knew that, right? And then the rectangle that I have in front of her, where did that just go? Okay, it's here in my layers. And let me just change it to the cream looking color. And then let me just decrease the opacity to really, really light just enough so it gives me like a nice creamish color above her right how does that look mm, that looks good but it is above these rectangles here so let me just drag it down to where she is right that looks good what do you guys think now on this first um artboard here i have the word first post now for the purposes of this tutorial i'm just going to write second post or just write 002 because this is the second post that we have here just so you guys know what you're looking at let's increase the size to about 150 or maybe 250 and then let's move it in line here with this orange rectangle let's change the color by clicking i on our keyboard for our color picker and just picking the orange that way it matches this orange rectangle here let's push this back in Let's keep this over here on this um, artboard and just drag this out some more. And then let's drag this out some more as well, right? To about there, that's about good. Mm, let's make the size a bit more. Let's do 300, wait. Let's do 300, all right, that is good. Let me just move it down to where it's about centered that looks fine i can live with that mm, can i yes i can all right and then let's add some more text up here t on our keyboard let's just add some placeholder text right uh, let's change this to matrice book that's what we used earlier right please remind me and then let me just write some generic stuff Instagram template or Instagram grid template, right? That's what I have over this side. Yeah, Instagram grid templates. All right, let's just write second line for more text. Let's decrease the vertical spacing to about. Mm, let's see what auto looks like. The default space. All right, that's cool. And right, let's do third line for even more text or <laughs> for more words and then let's just um duplicate this i just copy and paste this no let's leave it at that right 
and I don't want to complicate it too much. All right, that's fine. And then let's move this down now. Oops. Let's move this down to about there. And then let's hit I and then pick any one of these colors up here. Which one do you guys think matches or looks more sensible? I think the blue. And then what I can do next is just click on this text and control and C to copy, control and V to paste. And I can just align it here, right? Just showing you how you can um, manipulate your template to have as much text as possible to write as much things as you want, right? Just to be as creative as you want within a square template. But actually, let me delete the third one and then let me move this one down. I think I'm going to add this rectangle here. I'm just going to copy it, hitting Ctrl and C and then Ctrl and V. And I believe I want it right here is where I want it. Let's make it thinner and then let's move this up. And then let's have the rectangle like come all the way out to the edge of where the text is to about there. See that pink line just tell, told me that it's right about even. All right? Let's see what we have. Do I want to make her fade it out some more? Let's come over here in our layers. Mm. And let's fade her out some more. Are you still hearing that dog barking? I'm hearing him loud and clear. So that means you guys are too. I'm sorry. That's not my dog. Alright. That looks good, that looks good. Let's move this up some more. All right, cool. What do you guys think? Maybe I should change this to cream. Or let's do the blue. All right, that looks more like it. See, it's coming together. What do you guys think so far? Pretty cool, right? All right. Let's move these um, forward slashes up to about there. Nice. What else do I want to add to this? Mm. Let's add some more text right here above her. Let's just use some placeholder text, T on our keyboard, and just dragging out some um, a text box about right here. So for this post, um, this is more of a text-based post. Um, you'll have mostly, let me change the, uh, where do I find it, where do I find it? Mm, hyphen it. Cool. So for this post, you know, it's mostly text that you're highlighting in this graphic, like you're getting as much information as possible out there to your followers. So yeah, that's my thinking behind it, right? And let me just change this to, yeah. All right, that's, that looks like it. Move it down some, go to the two. All right, that's good. And let me just add a learn share photo from the first artboard an at and let's make it um, white which it already is and let's just drag it out about there um, let's make do I want the text to be white I don't really want the text to be white but um, I think white probably makes more sense right let's just change it to white mm, or the cream no, the cream won't look good on the cream, will it? Mm, let's see, how, it, how does it look? Is that legible? I don't know how the white looks. Let's keep the blue for now. <laughs> you guys can decide when you are using this template, right? How do you want to, how do you want to present your text? What color do you want to use? All right, all right, let's go over to our third post or third artboard. All right, let's drag this out mm, to about there. And let me just drag some more rectangles or draw some more rectangles by hitting M on my keyboard. And then let me just draw some mm, to about there. I on my keyboard for my color picker, make it cream. And then let me just hold Alt and Shift and then press the left arrow key and that will duplicate it for me. All right, and then what I want to do is I want this to be like a this this third post. I want to write the number three, right? But I also want it to have like the Roman numeral for the number three, right? Let's change it to B bus, and then let's make it about 
200. Let's do 300. And then I on our keyboard to pick a color and then let's put it right here. So it is saying the number three as well as it has the Roman numeral for three, right? Because this is our third post, right? All right, or it will be our third post in our template um, grid. All right, so see that we have Roman numeral three and the number three, we have 002 for our second post and our first post says first post. What do you guys think so far? Let me know. All right, let's make these widths. Let's change the width of these. So like it appears that it's getting thinner the more it goes over, right? All right, and that's a cool little look right there. What do you guys think? Let me just evenly distribute the centers a little. That's all right. All right, that looks good. What do you guys think? Control and S to save. And what I want to do is next, I want to write um, you know, LSPV, you know, we had learn share photo over here in this um, first one, but I'm not going to write that in the third one. I'm just going to write a big LSPV, right? T on my keyboard for my type tool. Um, that's what I want. Pick a color from my template, my palette, and then let's make this about 500. And I want it right in the corner there. And I want this rectangle to like go and meet the V, right? So it seems like it's flowing out of the V. Pretty cool, right? What do you guys think? Let's move it up some more. All right. Probably have to bring it over. Yep. All right, all right, all right. Looking good, right? Let's move it over to the other guy. And let's drag this over just so we have um, the same distance on top and on the left, I think. Oh no, wait, that's touching the edge of the document actually, because if I turn this off, that's the edge of the document. So I want it to be inside these first guides, right? All right, coming together nicely. What do you guys think? We're almost there. <laughs> what I can do is I can just lock this layer, the blue rectangle layer here, that way I don't accidentally move it, all right? So let me just click right here. This empty slot right here is for your locks. So anything you don't want to be moved accidentally, you can just lock it right there. I just got an idea. I think I just want to put the at learn share photo for this post right in here, right? Oops, it's not showing. Let me just bring it forward by holding control on my keyboard and the right square bracket until it moves. If you look over here, it's right here, the learn share photo. If you look as I press control and the left square bracket, sorry, the right square bracket, you can see it's moving up. See that? It's right here. Look at it moving up. See? Until it comes to the front, right? Pretty cool. Or you could have just right clicked on it and just look for arrange and then bring to front, right? And just center it to about there and just center it again there. All right, that looks nice. See that? Everything is just flowing seamlessly together, right? And then our next lady right here, let's bring her in and let's put her in a little photo frame, right? Let's hit I, pick this cream color. That's what we're using on this template. Let's go ahead and draw a rectangle by hitting M on our keyboard. And then let's draw out a square, right? Let's draw out a square to about there. And then let's bring her behind the square and size her down. Let me uh, duplicate the square by hitting Alt on my keyboard and just clicking on the square and dragging it so I have two of them. And then let me, oh no, let me hit Control and C to copy. I just hit Control and Z to undo that or Command and Z on Mac. And then let me hit Control and C to copy and then hit Control, Shift and v to paste it in the same coordinates you're not seeing it because it's in the same coordinates it's in the same exact spot so if you come over to your layers it's right here see that if you turn them both off one is there and another one is there but you're not seeing it because they're the same color right but if i were to change the color by hitting i and picking from my palette you'd see that it's still there right 
So let me turn one off. Let me select one and select the photo of the lady by holding shift and clicking both of them. And then let me hit control and seven. And as you can see, it gave me my frame, my clipping mask as usual. And then with this green um, rectangle selected, let's move it behind her. And then let's increase the size of it to give her a nice little frame, right? And then let's select them both and just move them. Oops, select them both. And then just move them to about there. That's what I want, I'm not sure. <laughs> what do you guys think looks good? Um, let me change this to the cream. I mean, I know I'm not using all the colors in my color palette, but that's just because this is what I'm feeling right now, right? I'm not really feeling the teal, right? And then let's see what else I can do here. Let me put an orange rectangle behind her by hitting M and then just dragging a nice little rectangle here. Put it behind her. Well, let me change the color first by hitting I, picking from my palette hit control and the left square bracket this time until it goes behind her see it's behind her but it's still in front of the frame mm, like that i think i probably leave it like that i really like that what do you guys think this versus having it behind the cream color frame i think i like this more what do you guys think yeah let's leave it like that for now and then I want to add some text in here. Let's just duplicate the Instagram theme, the Instagram grid templates from over the first um, post. Let's change the color to white. Yeah, white well, works. And then let's move it forward by hitting Control and right square bracket until it comes forward. Or you could have just right clicked and just click Arrange and then bring to front, right? And then that looks good. Then let me just hit Alt on my keyboard and Shift and just drag down a copy. Then drag down another copy, right? Mm, that looks good. That really looks good. And with these grids, guys, what you can do is you can, if you do social media for any one of your clients as a graphic designer, you can design grids and theme templates to make their Instagram posts look more professional. Just look more, you know, like more thought went into it. And just to let yourself stand out as well as let your clients stand out from their competition, right? So it's a pretty cool idea to apply even to your own social media posts. So let's continue. And let me just size these up bigger that way just to show you how you can use it to like write your text remember i'm just demonstrating how you guys can create um your templates right one two one two mm, that looks good that looks good let's move it down somewhere hide the guides control and semicolon move it down mm, to about there all right i like how that looks let me just drop it back to right where the orange shape ends or i could just move the orange shape up to where the word template ends nice see that cool what do you guys think let me expand the orange some more to about here and um see what we have so far <laughs> so the first one and the third the first one and the third one doesn't have as much text as the middle one but that's cool that's totally fine maybe that's what you want you know so let me just make this bigger let's just drag this down just make this bigger or make them longer rather and then just shift it over some that's fine it works let's add some more text it's just um do i want to add any more text no i don't want to add any more text i don't want it to look too crowded right or you know what let's do it for the purposes of this tutorial let's do it add some text to just fill this space right here all right well not so much text though that's way too much all right let's change it to white white and then let's change it to matrice book 
Let's increase the size to about. Mm, let's delete some of this and then let's increase the size and see what we have here, all right? All right. Like if you wanted to really just add some like small text, you know, something that's important to you or important to your client's brand, then you can just um, tuck it in right there. No big deal, nothing too serious, nothing to worry about, right? Control and S to save. Here we have all our templates. How do I full screen this? F on my keyboard to cycle through the screen modes. Oops, one more time. All right, <laughs> this is real nice. Um, How do I, it's fine, it's fine. Let me turn off the guides. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I really like this, I really do. I'll show you how to save them individually in a second. That way you can post them on social media, you know, save them as JPEG or PNG. So you can actually post it and use it, right? But what do you guys think? I really, really like this. Can I zoom in some more? Mm, no, let's keep it that way. I really like how it all flows, you know. Should I add some more, um, like, what, what is this again? Forward slashes? Mm, no, let's leave it off of this one. I don't want it to look too crowded, but maybe let's put it right here. All right. Yeah, let's put it right here for sure. Just so it's actually on everything. So I have it on this one and I have it. Oh, let me move it down so it matches. So it matches here, All right? And then let me change the color of it to orange, seeing that there is already so much cream on the third one. All right. Oh no, sorry, orange, my bad. All right. <laughs> what do you guys think? Let's turn the guys off, control and semicolon. And I really, really like what we did here today, guys. I really like it. I really, really like it. All right, now I'm just going to save these as individual um, files, individual images. That way you can post them on social media, right? Let's press F to exit or full screen mode. And then let's hit Control, Alt, and E. And that will give me my export for screens module. And I can export each of them. As you see, it's all selected. Artboard 1, Artboard 2, Artboard 3. And the range is artboard one to three, or I could have just hit all. And then what I can do is I can just choose your save your save location, and then you change, and then you choose where you want to save it by clicking this folder, right? The folder icon there, and then my folder is right here. Select folder, and then it will just export everything for you. So if we click export artboard, that's all we have to do, right? So let's click export artboard and it's exporting one, two, three. All right, here we are. This one will go first on our IG, right? We'll post this one first on the first day and then on the next day we'll post this one and then on the next day we'll post this one and they will all flow seamlessly on Instagram. So question of the day. Have you ever just felt like you wanted your Instagram page to look different from everyone else's? You want to really stand out or get ahead of the curve concerning your competition? Have you ever seen an Instagram template or theme just like what we did here today? And are you gonna try and start designing your own custom themes and templates? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to check the description for the links to the file that we designed today and for the photos that we used on Envato Elements. Once again, my name is C-Jam and I will see you guys in the next video.